Life's just so hectic nowadays. You're always chasing your tail, paying bills, taxes, working for the man, living your vanilla life behind your desk. Salvage some sanity back with me across four episodes here in the Mediterranean as we cruise some of the world's most exotic destinations. Sicily is about two and a half thousand years old. Now that's old school. Most notably, there are presently four active airports in Sicily. One of them being the third largest airport in Italy. Home of the Corleone family. The architecture in Tormina, there's a population of six million people in Sicily. Tourism is the leading source of income and employment. It used to be agriculture. Young Sicilians nowadays move abroad. Mount Etna, which we'll go to later, is a... Th uh, the Greeks are a pretty eccentric bunch. So they did stuff like having civilians. So they did crazy things like having... So not only did the amphitheatre house operatic and theatre performances, but it also saw the executions of people by way of being fed to tigers. The best way of getting from A to B in Sicily, bus, plane, car. I couldn't believe my eyes. The language that crosses all borders. <laughs> Good. Frego. Good luck, Dan. How do you say, how do you say dog in... Uh, no. In Sicily, how do you say it? Da. 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 In Italian? Fatto. 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 Sicily is not all about terrific theatres, magnificent mounts, also very much about beach culture. And in Australia, that's something we're very familiar with. Now, you might look around this beach here, all this hustle and bustle, all these people, lots of vendors trying to sell you things and think, gee, that doesn't look like Bondi or one uh, Faggy. But in fact, you take a bit of a walk around here and you see proud Australian surf brands being worn by the locals. Quicksilver, Rip Curl, No Fear, all very well respected brands here and available in the shops for about the same price as you would find back at home. Be it through coincidence or fate, the bug man has landed. Do you think, is a, a child size large, large enough that I can wear it? <laughs> you know what? A bag of the size, I'm going to buy it. I'll 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 buy it. Simpsons is the international language, Sim I think. Simpsons. Everyone speaks, everyone speaks dope. A little small, but that's how we do it in Australia. This is how we do it. I can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Etna is and when the volcano erupted from the depths of hell. One of the great things about the Sicilians is they're very generous and in fact you're encouraged to take some of Mount Etna home with you. Now I worry, I um, uh, wonder what Australian customs will think about all this lava. The thickness of the lava flow is up to five floors and it could in principle cover the whole of Sicily. Locals speak of a fatal attraction to the mountain. They love it, they love it, but it's fateful for them. Sacrificing their bodies and losing their minds due to the lure of the hot vent and all of its salacious demands. Now it wouldn't be a trip to Sicily without indulging at least one of their custom traditional food, the arancini rice ball. Mmm. Anyway, better get back to it. Onto the bus and back to the ship. Oh shit, I'm in this bus. Throw this bloody rice ball. <laughs> <laughs>